platform. McCain, the old guard Republican, and Paul, the Tea Party Republican, do not see eye to eye. McCain's disdain, uh, quite obvious there. McCain, by the way, uh, Michael, also today uh, captured playing video poker on his cell phone during the hearing. When we're getting a sense of the numbers to the question, who will vote, how, and when? Well, Micah, uh, that vote is expected in both houses shortly after Congress officially returns from their recess next Monday. As for the votes right now in the House, only 18 Democrats and six Republicans say that they will vote yes, including House Speaker John Boehner and Minority Leader Nancy Pelosi. But 17 Democrats and 50 Republicans say they will vote no. That leaves 342 representatives unknown or undecided right now. Over the U.S. Senate, 14 Democrats, five Republicans support a military strike on Syria, but two Democrats and seven Republicans right now do not. That leaves 72 senators undecided. And by the way, locally, uh, you know, both parties, both sides of the issue, Janice Hahn right now says that she will vote no, but Orange County's Loretta Sanchez, also a Democrat, says she is planning to vote yes. So right now, it is far from over. You bet. Glenn Walker in the newsroom for us on Syria again tonight. The Hacienda Heights man accused of killing his mother, whose body was found in the trunk of her car, has been charged in connection with her murder. 43-year-old Clifton Wang's mother, 63-year-old Vilma Chow, was found bound in the trunk of her Mercedes Benz last week. Wang's bail was set at about $1 million. He's due back in court on September 24th. A North Hollywood man has been charged with murder in the death of a woman who fell out of a car on the 210 freeway in Stillmar. 26-year-old Ricardo Rick Jimenez is accused of stabbing his girlfriend, 22-year-old Maria Josefina Jimenez, before she fell from the car and was then hit by several other cars. Jimenez surrendered to police on Saturday.